What's up? How's it going? And welcome to a new video. Today's going to be a little experiment. I just want to see if it's going to work. I want to do a vlog mixed with a makeup tutorial. So I hope people are into that. I don't really know what anybody wants anymore. So I just make whatever I feel like making because I can't tell. But a lot of you guys mentioned how you missed my makeup videos. So we're going to do a little hybrid of that. I want to get inspired by something in order to create a look. Without going too far into it, we're going to head to the Point Defiance Rose Gardens to see if anything's come in yet. We go there almost every year in a vlog of some sort, in some way, and today is going to be that day. I'm going to go check out the, the gardens. I think last year I went at the end of the year, and so I was wearing more of like an autumnal look. And this time I'm getting ahead of the game. I'm going to check out the gardens before they've fully bloomed. I would, I think so. I think. We've had a very belated spring where the weather is taking its merry old time getting warm, which I prefer, but I know a lot of people are ready for it to be warm. Um, whatever you like, it doesn't matter. I think it's just lovely. <laughs> it's not too hot yet, but I do wonder what, how this is affecting all of the flowers. I think for me in my garden, my roses have not come in, but I'm not an experienced gardener. So I'm sure they know what they're doing and they're already blooming. So we're going to go check those out. I have to stop by my store. Somebody has placed an order on that. Speaking of flowers, that beautiful floral dress that I featured on my store's Instagram last week or the week before last week and somebody has bought it. So I'm going to mail that out to her. Uh, all of the supplies that I need are at my store as far as my bags, the dress and everything that I need to ship it. So I'm going to go get that ready to ship out. And then I also have not eaten anything. And I was thinking of placing an order at Gather Juice to get a delicious smoothie. They posted a pina colada smoothie on their Instagram the other day and I've been thinking about it ever since. So we're gonna do all of that today. Um, and then tomorrow we'll do the makeup portion of the video. This is all going to be a blog feature as well as um, an outfit photo, a makeup feature. It's gonna be just like a head to toe outfit of the day lookbook. Oh no, look at out of stock. The pina colada smoothie is out of stock. I think I'm gonna have to try something new. The blueberry almond butter, that's what I usually get. Got my smoothie. I'm almost done with it already. <laughs> Delish. Actually, honestly, it's not very good. And it's my fault. I ordered a smoothie that has a lot of lime in it and I got an oat milk base and I, it, it suggested coconut water and I got oat milk. I'm here at the gardens. I picked up, as you saw, the dress. It's packaged and ready. I'm going to do this first because this is a big part I want to get out of the way and I feel like this is going to get busy a little bit later today when people start getting off work they're going to want to go for walks so I really want to just get this out of the way um plus yeah like I'm excited about it to be honest I'm excited to see the flowers I just noticed that there's something called an iris garden over here that's new to me. I've never noticed that before. So I want to go check out the iris garden, but we're going to just walk around for a sec, get some cool photos. I don't want to take up too much of my battery because I forgot to grab my spare. I hate it when I do stuff like this. Um, but yeah, let's walk around, get some videos, some photos. made it 
to the flower gardens. It's not too busy, so I'm able to get around and get some video and inspiration. I see so many flowers. I really don't know which one's gonna be the one until I start looking at all the photos I've taken of all of these beautiful flowers. But I do like these ones. They match my outfit. Renovated this. This used to not have this middle pathway. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. Oh, and look at this thing. I consider it to be quite lucky that I did not run out of battery while I was there, so that's good. Uh, a lot of roses still need to bloom, and it's exciting actually to get here before they do and seeing just a few kind of popping up because it gets me so excited about when they do and coming back for that. So it'll definitely probably be this month, I would assume it's June 1st, so. I would think in the month of June, these roses will all be doing their thing, but it does give me a little bit of reassurance that mine are doing okay because mine all look like this, or my one rose bush looks just like these ones do, so that's good. <laughs> it means that mine will be blooming in no time as well, and I've seen the little rose buds on them already, but I saw that Lyle called me, so I'm gonna take this package and go drop it off for the gal who ordered this beautiful floral dress. It's such a florally inspired kind of day. I'm gonna get home and look at some of these photos and decide which one is going to be the inspiration for tomorrow's makeup look. So stay tuned for that because we're gonna film a lovely floral inspired look. Maybe I'll take a couple of flowers and kind of do it like inspiration of a few because picking just one doesn't seem very fair. Uh, anyway, that's it for right now. So I will continue this on uh, tomorrow. You know what this means? It's morning and it's the next day. <laughs> coffee time, coffee time. <laughs> Hi. And welcome to another day. We're gonna do our makeup now. Me and you, you and me, together. Let's get started. I'm gonna use the Juno and Company Moonshine Miracle Cream I'm still obsessed with. It's really, really nice to have a super hydrating cream-based primer. I love it. And I just like the bottle. I mean, I love having what appears to be a spaceship on my desk. I wanted to give this another shot. This is the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This. When I first tried it, I loved it, and I was totally blown away with how great it matched my skin. But then I started to be like, mm, it's not like, it doesn't give my skin the life that I like. I like my skin to look dewy and a little bouncy and healthy, and it doesn't really do that. It just is just a pretty basic foundation. It's still good, it's still good. Like, look at how the matches it really they do have the best matching system online of foundation but it's just not my favorite I guess is all I don't dislike it but it's not my favorite okay and uh, I did just throw on some bronzer just so that my face looks a little bit more balanced 
I need my flower of inspo, my flowers of inspo. I really like the way this blog post turned out because I was able, you guys, I spent hours. I was up until midnight. Um, so I got back from the gardens in the afternoon and literally just for like 10 hours straight, just trying to figure out how to connect my web shop to my Instagram posts. And I also had to try to find things that looked like what I was wearing because what I was wearing was very thrifty, like stuff that you can't find anywhere else or like I got it ages ago and it's no longer available. But I just feel like because I don't wear a lot of the fashion trends that are going on right now, because I just, I'm not, I'm a thrift girl. I, I usually have stuff that you can't get anywhere. Not to say that I don't like sometimes do H&M stuff and whatever, but I really wanted to try to find similar things. Even this palette is on there. So all of this will be shoppable within my Instagram so that you guys don't have to keep hunting it down. So that's what this is. I hope it works. I hope I'm following all of the rules too. That's something you always get nervous about. Is like, did I read the fine print? So we'll see if I get fired from social media, then you'll know why. <laughs> it's just me out here, you know? I am not an expert in marketing and I'm doing my best. Let's start off with a base. I like that because it just neutralizes my lid and it also helps add something for all the rest of the colors to blend on. And I'm just gonna use the same brush. The one that I'm using right now is just a nameless, <laughs> oh no, it says it's a crease brush by Moda. We're gonna go in with Soul, which is this purpley one. Usually I would do a more brown crease, but because we're being inspired by a garden, I don't wanna do the typical choice. So I'm gonna do a crease with this almost lavender tone. And I like this crease brush because it does have a little bit of a point to it so I can create that defined edge here where I'm just kind of sweeping a little bit in that corner so it's like a V. And then lightening it up a little as I go towards the center. Now we're going to take Love, still using the same brush. I like to do that. I really do like to try to use the same brush as much as possible. We're going to just tap that over here. And I am kind of letting it blend a little bit up into this other one. So it's just getting a nice mix of color. Now we're gonna take Wild Child right here in our finger and add it to the inner corner. That's nice. Just to have a nice sparkle, I'm gonna take Dreamer right here and add it to the inner corner even more like on the tear duct and below. I usually keep a paper towel or like a little hand cloth close by because I like to wipe my brushes off on it. So we're gonna go with volatile and do underneath. I let most of the product live here and then I'm just kind of spreading it out towards the center so it just kind of does the same thing as it did up top where most of the product's here and lightens up towards the middle. Okay, now I do have a more colorful purpley eyeliner but every time I put it on it makes my eyes break out and like swell so I'm obviously allergic to something in it. So what I've found works for me is just getting the Meron mixing liquid which I've used on a few various videos on Instagram Reels and I talk about it all the time. I use it on uh, Noni Cream when I did her makeup for Beauty Guard and it's amazing. You can turn any eyeshadow into a liquid eyeliner and it's it's brilliant. So maybe we'll do Passion 
and I'm gonna mix that. So there's no like real ratio that I use in particular. I just kind of go light. I, I put it in a little like container of sorts, whatever I have nearby. And I'm not allergic to this. So that is the beauty of it is that I can use now any anything to create the eyeliner look that I want. And I'll just take the end of the brush and scrape the eyeshadow color that I want to turn into a liner. And then see as I'm dropping, I drop the liquid in the center and I'm just kind of working the liquid up into it. Yeah, now we have a little eyeliner that I can play with. Now we're gonna use just an angle brush like this. Let's see which angle I want to get in on. I've always loved a nice like burgundy eyeliner and it looks great on people who have green and blue eyes. Is brilliant. If I was still doing a lot of like traveling with my makeup kit, this would be my go to because you can just bring all your colorful eyeshadow palettes and you've always got an eyeliner on hand. It's just, it's amazing. The thing too is that this is so easy to wash off. That's kind of cool the way the fox eye is turning out. Just blending it down into that blend I did earlier. I love how long and like sharp the fox eye makes your eyes look. I've been trying to use up the little mini mascaras that I have because they do dry out and go bad and I just feel like I have so many I don't want to waste them so I, I'm on um, mascara timeout at the moment. <laughs> Try not to buy anymore. <laughs> Alright so now for the cheek I'm going to take the Winky Lux Cheeky Rose Blush. I just thought a rose. Ooh nice romantic red. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to calm that down. That's too much. Wow, that's red. I was gonna go across my nose, but let's not go too crazy here. <laughs> what, for me? Running through the garden. And then we're just gonna go over top with the brush we used for the foundation. So it's a little softer and more pinched. We're going for pinched, not slapped. <laughs> lovely, it's absolutely lovely. I'm gonna take a Fenty highlighter in hustle baby got that hustle <laughs> it's really pretty this one very pretty now we're going for sun kissed glow for sure did you see that sky out yesterday i went on the most perfect day because when there's too much sun it really like it makes me do this the whole time and the photos look horrible <laughs> and i'm like so it was overcast and it made for the most perfect photos. I felt like they all came out so dreamy, if I do say so. I mean, I just was like loving the tone. And the, when I edited them, I didn't have to take the saturation up at all. I actually brought it down because I wanted it to look a little bit more like dark with like light. You know what I mean? I don't know, I've been into this lately. I edit all of my own photos and I've been trying to find like my thing and I think I found it, so that's good go look at my instagram if you want to know what i'm talking about little spruits little spruits okay so let's do the lips um we're gonna do a nice kissable glossy lip i'm gonna take the clinique intense blush You ever like touch a part of your lip and it makes you twitch <laughs> that just happened my babies are being so quiet and behaved i have no guest dogs right now so it's like peace has been restored to my house <laughs> just smoothing the edge out i have the dior just called the dior addict um plumping gloss it's like a plumper Oh, 
how we looking how we looking just seeing if i want to do any uh adjustments of any sort i don't have my fan with me either so i have to use my hands my hands what is this been watching a lot of Downton Abbey. Uh, one of my favorite things. I think I said it in a video at one point and I still laugh about it. <laughs> I'm so funny. What did I say? There was like one scene where she comes in and everybody's having their tea and she walks in wearing like pants but they look like a, they look like a dress you can't even tell they're just cut in the middle and sewn up so they look like just flowy pants and everybody like drops the tea and clutches their pals she's wearing pants <laughs> anyway i think this look came out really good i think my skin looks nice that's the thing about the il maquillage foundation is i feel like you've really got to glow it up or else it'll make your skin look really dull so pile on the highlight, pile on the setting spray, pile on the various primers underneath it and you'll get a really beautiful skin. But I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. It was so fun. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I really did enjoy doing those weekly vlogs, but at this point, like I just have obviously had to switch gears. The past few weeks, I haven't been picking up my camera the same way I used to because I just can't. Thank you so much for coming with me to the Rose Gardens and doing this rosy garden inspired makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not. That's a big help for me. Hit the bell. That way you know when I get, you know, some sort of video up. It's a pretty cool handy little thing there. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.